Now there are many different types of sourcing locations. Today we're going to look at another way you can source items from your house. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about another way we get merchandise quite often. There's many different platforms, many different sites out there. eBay is the one most people are going to talk about, but eBay isn't just one single site. eBay is a bunch of different sites. There's eBay UK, France, Germany, and on and on and on, Canada. So if you're unaware of that, you should literally look into that right now because there are some good opportunities to purchase merchandise from the non-US sites, import them, bring them in yourself, like some of these items, we buy them sometimes by the case off of some of the foreign sites. Doesn't just have to be eBay either, but we're gonna show you some straight from eBay. There's many opportunities out there. A lot of people don't even assume, think, or even ever go to one of the other foreign eBay sites, but there's a lot of them. Not only that, there's other sites in other countries, which we personally do use, that are massive and have a ton of different types of merchandise. An item that may be really expensive here because no one else has it, like uh, these Japanese toys right here, might be super, super cheap overseas because they're in quite a few areas. We've known people that actually go over to, say, Japan and buy up a bunch of the vintage robots and superhero toys, bring them back, and then turn around and sell them for three and four times the price they paid for them. Now, you're doing the same thing you would be doing if you were sourcing locally. You're going to go out, find something, buy it, and then turn around and resell it for a profit. Now, I have a link down in the description box as well for what I'm going to show you right now. So here's a post on eBay Worldwide, and this is a complete list of international eBay sites. And this is by Lineworks, as it says down there. This is from the link shown in the description box. It will take you right here where you can see this yourself. It goes into fairly good detail. It's got a lot of information on what is covered in here. There's a main page for the specific ones. I've been on pretty much all of these. I always like to look and see what's going on in other platforms. eBay uses Australia sometimes for testing stuff because it's a more closed market and gives more of an overall idea of some of the bigger countries or, or bigger sites that have more uh, individuals on that, that platform, like eBay USA versus eBay Australia. So again, I would look through here. It'll give you the addresses. It gives you some information on the specific sites. You've got Belgium. Uh, I, again, I've been to most of these sites you will see some pretty cool stuff on there. If you're a collector, you already know about most of these, I would imagine. This is something as a collector that we've messed around with. And then we realized that as a reseller, we could buy stuff the same way and turn around and resell them in markets that don't have those items. The whole philosophy is that over in the country you're buying it from, it's far cheaper. The biggest cost factor most of the time is going to be the shipping. We try to bulk purchase as much as we can so we can get a whole bunch of stuff shipped for a smaller fee. Some countries, depending on where you're, you're shipping from, there are some bigger options, or some will even send it freight, and it's usually a little bit cheaper that way, again, depending on the item and how big of a purchase you are making. But again, it goes into all the sites in here. It's a pretty long list of them, as you can see. We'll look at just a few of them just to give you some ideas. It gives you population and the currency information, the language spoken. Most of the sites as well, even if they are in a foreign language, Google will actually translate them for you. Now, as I said, there is a link down in the description box that will take you right to this PDF. You can check it out for yourself. Now, site-wise, most of the eBay sites look extremely similar. In some cases, I've seen the same types of items from national brands scrolling across the top of every single page pretty much about the same time. So this is eBay UK. This is eBay Netherlands right here. This is eBay France right here. And this is eBay Germany. So look at them very closely. They're very, very similar. Again, it's already auto-translated them for me with Chrome. You can click it on anytime you want. It works great. For the most part, sometimes some of the terminology isn't exactly correct, but it, it translates everything for us. What we do sometimes is have multiple screens open just like you see and we'll look up the exact same items on every single one of the platforms. 
A French version may hold a different value from a British version, though. Keep that in mind. You have to understand the market here in the U.S. for the items that you're interested in doing that with. I've really only done it with a certain amount of items like toys. Toys in general usually can do very well. The folks that go overseas usually go to Japan just for toys. They'll buy a whole bunch, thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in some cases, bring it back shipwise or however they bring it back, and then again, piece it out and can make some incredible amounts of money. Now, we do it on a smaller scale, and some of the time we're buying stuff as a collectible for the wife's collection, and we buy extras because it's uh, not much difference to buy one versus five, six, eight units of the same thing. So again, ask questions when you're doing this. They'll give you a special deal many times if they have more than one. In some cases, too, when we're inquiring about the items and I'm emailing the seller of the items, they've offered other items just like that or they had a whole case of the, the one type of item we were looking for. Mostly box toys work best for us. Mint on card, Japanese versions, um, Chinese versions. Um, German versions, French versions, British versions of American toy lines are awesome. Superheroes, Star Wars, any of that kind of stuff carries a great increase in value over most of the U.S. ones. Even again, as I said, if they were cheap over there overseas, it's a different market. If they don't list them up over here, you're not going to get the, the return on it from what I've personally experienced. So you can purchase them straight from one site and then list them your way as you want. Most people will pay a premium for those types of items here on eBay. Again, you're going to have to look into the categories you can specifically do this in because you can't do it in every category. A comic book collector of vintage comic books, chances are only wants the U.S. version, unless there is no U.S. version. They're not going to care about translations and stuff. Sometimes, like uh, foreign issues of magazines, for an example, we've sold some mad magazines from many different countries. They do good, but mostly as a curiosity for somebody who's a, a major big mad fan. So you got to understand the markets when you're playing and stuff like this. But the opportunities are there. Now, I'm not going to give away all the items that we purchase like this. You'll be able to dig into them yourself, and you'll be able to see the difference. You can compare prices at what you could possibly get stuff for on any one of these other sites that I'm showing you here. Again, we've got Netherlands, France, Germany, and UK just here. I've only opened up a few of them. Now, there's many different sites to do this with. You don't just have to do it on eBay eBay is one of the easiest and, and probably one of the safest ones because of their policy, their buyer protection policies. Again, it should cover you in most cases when you're buying stuff from them this way. But if you're more adventurous and you want to branch out, there's other sites like Lulu Burlu and things like that. There's an Argentina site that we've used for quite some time. It's a smaller site, but they get some really neat, really rare, really scarce items in there. So I'll leave it at that. It's all going to be up to you to do the bit of research that you need to figure out which items you can do this with and which items you can't, which sites may have more items, which other site as well may offer a bigger opportunity for money. Some items from one specific country can be hotter than items from any other country, and if you just go after those, you can do far better. Now, there are some risks to doing this. They could be poorly wrapped and arrive damaged. Now, you can probably get your money back if you're buying the items off of an eBay site, some of the other sites you want to check into before you do it. Again, there are sites in almost every country out there, big country, where you can buy stuff on it. You've just got to know whether you can trust the specific site or not. you got to make sure that the vendors are okay. Maybe a little harder to check. Now, the biggest thing I would say if you're buying from eBay, you can pretty much trust that eBay is going to refund you for your money if it's a scam or something's going on. Personally, we have not been scammed yet in years of doing this from any foreign purchase we have ever made. And we make them monthly, constantly. It's not something that we just rarely do. So again, I haven't had any issues doing it. I'm careful. I try to buy from specific well-known platforms in there. I've mentioned other ones. Lulu Burlu. It's a French site. There's several in Japan. There's some from Argentina. There's some from the South. There's some from Spain area that we've messed with. We've done UK, eBay, France, eBay, uh, German eBay, Netherlands eBay. Many of the foreign eBay sites we have personally purchased items from without any issues whatsoever as I said so it's a good and viable option but anyway that's what I have for you today hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends
tried. Gotcha. And tried. Gotcha. And tried some more. Gotcha. But can't get over that bridge to score. Hot Wheels Dynamite Crossing. You put it together. The speed's on high. The launcher set. Could be this time your car will get over Dynamite Crossing. Dynamite! Now I get to blast your car. Gotcha. 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 Hot Wheels Dynamite Crossing set comes with Bridge Blaster Van. Some sets not for use with some cars. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel.